Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another Genshin Impact reaction. Today is Fontaine Day and of course we are checking out the character demos of Linny and Lynette as well as Linny's collected miscellany. So yeah, we will check all three of them out in this video. I hope you're interested. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And I would say we will start right away. Let's go. Our magic duo. I already love that. <laughs> nice music. Magic there he is. is an art of performance. Sure, sure, sure. But before the performance begins, a little preparation is needed. Welcome to Linny and Lynette's magic show. Mm -hmm. Two. I love that. I love that with the cards and the whole theme like the cat out of the head. <laughs> and I love the music. It's very which is real fun. And oh. which is an illusion. Oh wait, there is Linny's uh, Lynette's head as well. <laughs> Take a guess. Ooh. Because our next trick is about to begin. Oh, I love that. Show on the road. <laughs> Man, I love their trailers. Yes! Well, they are shown together as well. Step right up. <laughs> hmm? <sighs> this has been Linny and Lynette's magic show. Thanks for watching. No, oh, that was nice. It's just a rehearsal, you know? Aren't oh. you overdoing it? Wait, that was a nice magic trick. Oh, there's the penguin. It's the only way to iron out the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Fermine, what do you think? Uh, I think it was excellent. I love the penguin. If I had to make a suggestion, how about giving Pear a part in the show? No, is that the name of the penguin? Okay, I'm getting distracted by the penguin. But I love that they actually show like all three of the siblings together. That is really cute. I really enjoy that. Okay, so that was Linny's video. That was amazing. I love the whole magic theme of Linny and Lynette. It's just great. Okay, but let's just go on with the next one. Magic is a kind of real illusion. Mm. And those few who excel at making illusions that shock and amaze will become renowned among magicians. Doesn't this look like Child's brother? But I think like Child's little brother has like blue eyes, right? From the performance posters adorning the opera houses of Fontaine to the hearty recommendations of hotel concierges and conversations with citizens on the streets, mm? it isn't difficult to guess who the title of most popular magician belongs mm. to. True, true, true. Ah, we'll be a traveling magic troupe. <laughs> magic is not simply a stage performance for Linny. For the tricks of the trade have become a part of his everyday life. Mm. If you were to liken the battlefield to a stage, Linny's bow and arrows would be his props, while the talented magician himself creates surprises for anyone watching the show. Those who are keen observers are more familiar with their own blind spots. I really like that they implement a little bit more than the original weapons like we had with like Mika and and what was his name Alhatham's roommate with the with the suitcase thing or whatever that was I like that they implement like these little details about the character and not just them having weapons when Linny is in the party the location of his name was Kabe. Items unique to Fontaine will appear on your minimap, making it easier to gather resources. Linny's normal attack can combo up to four consecutive shots, dealing okay. physical damage. With a charged attack, Linny executes a more precise aimed shot that deals increased damage. The shot has different effects depending on how long the charging lasts. 
Okay. At charge level one, Linny fires off a pyro-infused arrow that deals pyro damage. At charge level two, Linny fires off a prop arrow that deals pyro damage. After hitting, a Grinmalkin hat will be summoned. Okay. <laughs> Grinmalkin hats can taunt nearby opponents, causing them to attack the hat. Each opponent can only be taunted periodically. But wouldn't it take a long time to like charge the arrow that way? When a Grinmalkin hat is destroyed or its duration expires, it will fire off a pyrotechnic strike at a nearby opponent, dealing pyro damage. Only one Grinmalkin hat can exist at once. It inherits HP in proportion to Linny's maximum HP. Okay. In addition, if Linny's HP is higher than a certain threshold when he fires a prop arrow, Linny will consume a portion of his own HP to obtain one prop surplus stack. The number of stacks is limited, and all stacks will be removed once Linny stays out of combat for too long. He has some nice Linny's moves. Linny's <laughs> HP cannot fall below a certain threshold in this way. Okay. After unlocking the talent Perilous Performance, if Linny consumes HP by firing off a prop arrow, the Grinmalkin hat will restore a certain amount of elemental energy after it strikes an enemy, and will gain increased damage based on its attack. Okay. Prop arrows periodically call down Spirit Breath Thorns upon the location they hit, dealing Numa-aligned pyro damage. Using his elemental skill, Linny does a flourish with his hat, unleashing a firework surprise. When a Grim mm -hmm. hat created by Linny is on the field, the fireworks will cause it to explode violently, oh, dealing AoE okay. pyro damage equivalent to a pyrotechnic strike. Some of his skills are like really nice, like the, the regeneration of his HP. I, I actually like that. Damage dealt by the Grim hat in this way is considered charged attack damage. When Linny uses his elemental skill, all prop surplus stacks will be cleared, dealing AoE pyro damage to opponents in front of him. Damage will be increased based on the number of stacks cleared, and Linny's HP will be regenerated based on his max HP. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road! <laughs> using his elemental burst, Linny unleashes his magic, Turning into oh. a fast-moving Grinmalkin cat. This is not to be confused with the Grinmalkin hat. They're two different props. Okay. <laughs> when the Grinmalkin cat gets close to opponents, it will call down flames upon them, dealing up to <laughs> one instance of pyro damage to each opponent. The fighting with him is really a performance, ends, right? Lenny <laughs> will dismiss the Grinmalkin cat and ignite magnificent fireworks that deal AoE pyro damage, summon a Grimmalkin hat, and gain one prop surplus stack. Linny can also deactivate Grimmalkin cat prematurely. Okay. A magnificent performance always leaves the audience yearning Don't for an they have the same name or am I just confused? Enough, the magician might even improvise a few new tricks on the spot. After unlocking the talent Conclusive Ovation, Linny deals increased damage to opponents affected by Pyro. Okay. In addition, each Pyro party member other than Linny will increase this damage bonus. Mm. The damage increase that can be okay. gained in this way has a maximum limit. Only an actor who has mastered their skills and who can instantly adapt is worthy of being a maestro of magic. And Linny is fully deserving of the title. Mm -hmm, In battle, true. prop arrows are Linny's primary source of damage. So By he's kind of prop arrows, good to use with like other hats and fire fire or pyro characters. He can also gain like the, yeah. surplus stacks. By using his elemental skill to clear stacks at the right time, Linny can deal even more damage to enemies. When energy is full, Linny can transform into a Grin Malkin cat moving agilely about the battlefield, getting close to enemies, and delivering a magnificent final performance under a shower of pyro I'm still confused magic. about the Grin Malkin no cat. One wishes to be tricked. Because both are just... But people still have the same name. Seats ...to watch a magic show whose purpose is to deliberately deceive. 
Is it to lose mm. themselves in a splendorous illusion, even for a short while? Maybe, or maybe. is it to see through the illusions and trickery? Maybe both. Either way, we need not pry too deeply. For regardless of how real the magic seems, it is but a performance. Just consider it a rare piece of entertainment in a world of fickle fate. Is that not enough? Hmm? Okay, I really enjoyed seeing like his skills. But yeah, he has some nice features and I really enjoyed like seeing this overview of him. But now we will jump to Lynette's character demo. Okay, here we are, last video. We have to watch Cat in the Box. I would say we will start, let's go. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Linny's magic assistant, and if you have work-related inquiries, please ask Linny. If you have mm. questions related to seeing a I love, like, she's, like, really... She doesn't have much expression as a character, right? She's just there to do the tricks, and, like, the, the appearance and, like, the catching the people stuff is just Linny's stuff to do, like, work to do, right? That's why, I don't know, I like those kind of characters. Magic show, like Please the ask quiet the one. Seems Linny is saying some strange things again. Mm. It's really boring. She's always sipping tea. I can see the conditions for victory now. Oh, nice. I love the music. Step on up. She's super cute. Wait, did you say step on up? <laughs> and I love her character design. I love like the after the sun goes what is down, it bow? The desires hidden in people's hearts will rise to the surface. Like the thing in her hair. Let the magic oh. begin. Oh that's nice. Let me take the heat. She also has a head with a cat. <laughs> You let me take the stage. Oh, nice. I love that they are always shown to get all remedy. The penguin. I love the penguin. Evening shows are spectacular. Should I reserve a ticket for you? That was it of our girl Lynette. I can't wait to like dive into Fontaine, like literally. Uh, after I recorded this, I will start to record the story of Fontaine. Uh, I'm really excited to meet like the siblings in the game. I think they might be the first characters we see, I guess. Uh, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, but that's it for this reaction. I loved all of the videos and uh, the overview over the characters. I really like the character designs. I said this like many times now because we have seen, we've seen them quite often. Um, also Genshin Impact themselves, they showed the next characters which is like the water daddy, <laughs> like the justice man. And then we have like the other guy with the wolves. I'm really bad with their names. So Linny, Lynette and Fremenay are the easiest names to pronounce in like Fontaine, I guess. Um, all the other names are like really different. <laughs> and really hard to pronounce so i'm not even trying so so yeah but i'm really interested in all of the characters because in the trailer all of them looked very nice um so i can't wait to see all of them in game but for now that's it i hope you enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye